It's bruschetta time. Come and take a look what I'm doing. Okay, pretty simple. I got a barbecue here. Awesome. I got some nice flat bread. Now this is actually my pizza crust that I'm using, but we're gonna make a barbecue bruschetta. I'm using some nice red onion. Red onion is one that I really like the twang too. It's a little bit sweeter. I'm just cutting down a bit. We're gonna add some nice plum tomatoes to it, some basil, and I'm doing mine with a bit of a twist. Bruschetta always has garlic in it. I'm putting it on the flatbread instead. Here's the size I want on the cut for the onions. No bigger than that, really, because you don't want to have a big bite of the onion. It's all gonna get blended together. And now the tomato, one of the tricks with your tomato is always use plum tomatoes. Um, reason being, they're really meaty. You want to get rid of the guts, which is all the seeds on the inside. Just take your finger and scoop it out. All you want is the flesh. Now look at how nice and fleshy this is. If you get a field tomato, it's not, not so much. This is a good one. Now what we're doing here, you're just cutting the flesh into little fingers. And then you're going to turn it around and you're going to cut it the opposite way. Now notice that I'm not pounding and chopping every which way because it just bruises it and it takes the flavor right out of it. Well, I just want to show you how that works for chopping, but I did make some a little bit earlier. You want it to sit for a while. This is just the tomato, the onion, and I put some balsamic salt and pepper in here. So let's get this out of the way and pull in our working surface. Here's where it gets fun. Look at this roasted garlic. This is just delicious, easy to roast. You put it into a pan with some oil just to cover the garlic. Go for 40 minutes on your stovetop. We're gonna bring it like this and just smear it all the way around to the edges. You're getting really beautiful garlic flavor in here. And by the way, what I did instead of olive oil in this is I used my garlic oil to bump up my flavor yet again. Now I'm just gonna take some of the bruschetta. We're just gonna pop it on top. Smear it all over. Yeah, it's starting to look like flavor to me. Last but not least, I'm putting on the Parmesan Reggiano. Keep in mind, uh, eating gluten-free, really important. Do not buy the one that's already grated up. It's gonna have sulfites in it and you're not gonna guarantee that there's not gluten in it. We actually took the Parmesan and grated it ourselves. We're gonna sprinkle it right on. There you go. And then really, that's all there is to it. Now, earlier I made one and it's just about ready to come off the barbecue. Take a look at this. Yum. Now there's barbecue bruschetta. Didn't take long, easy to make.